Okay. I got a few things to talk about. Um, <clears throat> and the title, you know, you're asking, you're probably asking, who's Peter Peter Lee? Okay. Who is Peter Peter Lee? You're going to ask. Well, I'll tell you exactly who Peter Peter Lee is. There's something I've been thinking about. And this person, Peter Peter Lee, is a character in the show Portlandia. Portlandia. Okay? He did the Is It Local scene. That was the main one. Is the chicken local? That is the title of the video. If you want to look that up on your own accord. Um, they made him into a like a stuttering Italian androgynous, you know. He got fat off pasta, and his girlfriend got him on a diet, <clears throat> an all veggie diet, you could say. And then at the end, you know, she she ended up kind of feeding into his pasta habit or whatever the hell. Guess who Peter Petalini really is? Guess who it really is? It's an it's a gross over exaggeration of yours truly, me. From a video I made 11 years ago, why the city of Portland sucks. Okay? Why the city of Portland sucks. It came out before the show. I got 38,000 views on it. Felcher, you're going to want to listen to this one. I made a video that got 38,000 views 11 and 12 years ago talking about why the city of Portland sucks. And I think the producers of Portlandia used that to create this character called Peter Petalini. If you look him up, cheers, Felcher. I'm glad you're still around. That account you made there is classic. And I also met Robbie Roadstein as well. I met him on the streets of Central Square in Cambridge about 13 years ago. Yeah, but Tampa's got quite a few too. It's second to Portland. And plus all the other stuff that's here, it's there's more in Tampa in general, I think. Uh, but it's second to Portland in strip club capital of the world. Of the United States at the very least, I should say. Uh, so, so yeah, I wanted to talk about that, that if you look up Peter Peter Levy, that is a portrayal of me. And I got no trademark for that. I didn't get any of the credits. It was flattery, and I can laugh about it. But none of them came to me and said, hey, we're going to be doing it. But I know that they did based off me. They didn't come to me like, I'm going to do a character based off of you. Mr. Ruigi, or Melton John, whatever I called myself, Mr. Ruigi, and that, that account that I made years ago. I had many aliases. I had Mr. Wiggy, I had Val Riley at that time. Um, and all that. So yes. Hi Joni, what is going on? 
I'm, I'm addressing a few things and I'm probably going to shut it off. It's not going to be long. Um, it's going to be relatively boring. Uh, in your imagination, dickleweed. Um, that's right, you're a fucking dickleweed. That's what you are. Someone asked her, obviously. But yeah, that segment of Portlandia was based off me. Um, but I don't talk about this too much at all. But the only difference is they made a stuttering character. And yeah, and 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 yes, it was. Dante 24. Like, any, 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 what, 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 where, where, where do they, um, where do they keep these chickens at? Where, uh, do they, do they, do they, do they, do they have a place to run? Do they have enough space to run? Um, he sounds like a nice little guy. It's almost like they studied me in a way. Well, think about that time out, all right? Criticizing, do you smoke? Let me ask you that. You don't even smoke a cigar, you idiot. So, how the fuck am I supposed to take your advice, literally? How? Explain to me. You didn't get a chance to watch it, but you will be something. Yeah, I talked to you about that, and I figured I'd go live about that. And I'm also going to cover on Katie Schrock probably in about a minute. This Katie Schrock is a creeper. She's a female creeper. I don't know her age. It's irrelevant what her age is. She could be over the legal limit. I don't know. But she still is um, stalking YouTube is on here. Rosie Wren, namely. But there are a couple of others that this Katie Schrock is going around. Or she has harassed people. She's had people make videos on her. Telling her to leave them alone and shit. And she she stalks people on Instagram, even sites like Instagram. She goes off YouTube to stalk people and literally write them in Instagram. I've never even gone that far. So again, there's worse than me, and there's a female doing it. Okay, and plus I wrote her and I told her to leave these people alone. I told her, don't make me come for you. Leave Rosie Wren alone. Leave all these other people alone who've complained about you. Okay, and she's like, oh, I'm taking screenshots. My parents are looking. I got a neighbor who's a cop. And that's all I said to her. So Katie Schrock, if you're watching, cut the fucking shit. I know exactly what you're doing. All right? I'll bring you down here if I need to. That's all I need to do. So that's the only act I need to really do. You know? But people have complained about it. People have complained about it. Quite a few. It's not just coming from Rosie Red. It came from her, but it also came from others. It's more proof that I have that Katie, you go around threatening people with intimidation when someone literally is just calling you out on your bullshit. That's really it. I mean, nothing else needs to be said. So, you know, Katie Schrock, I'm now going video on. Okay? So that means knock it off. That's what it means if I'm making a video on it. Look me in my eyes, alright? This looks like I'm fucking kidding around, Katie Schrock. I'm on to your shenanigans. When someone bigger and badder comes to you, you can't handle it. Is ultimately what it comes down to. You cannot handle it. Now about me. 
I aspire to become a politician one day, and I'm going to deal with people like you when I get appointed in as future dictator of the United States of America. I'm looking to get, get the United States under my rule. When I'm, it might take me till I'm 50 years old, but I'm going to do it at some point as a trans person running for president one day. It's not going to be any time soon that I know of unless a miracle can happen and I can build a credible campaign to get me in there to deal with people like you to deal with all these other fucking creeps. And I think me being down in this community served the purpose so one day I can execute my goal. So it's all part of a future plan. It's all part of a future plan. And I'm always mindful of that. Because it's all about building for the future, you know? Taking the baby steps right now. Trust the process. I believe in trust the process. There's a quote called, trust the process. And I believe in using trust the process. Because it is a process. And it's going to have to... It may take two years, it may take three to four, who the hell knows how long it'll take. But quitting just ain't my shtick like Barry White. Yeah, I'm never gonna give it up. That's right. Just quit and just ain't my shtick. Yeah. In some form, I'm gonna be going. Even when I'm off YouTube, I'm gonna be going. Bottom line. But bigger and better things are on the way. And I plan to execute based on those bigger and better things coming and showing up to me. At face value. At face value. There's a reason people in my past came into my life. Harold, namely, my mentor. Shout out to H. Bob. Um, so, for any other reason, even if some people have their flaws and their problems and they aren't good people, the fact is the people who've come after them, have they been really any better? Not really. Dean is bullying um, Nicole. I mean, right? She's becoming a female, Harold. So how is that? Is that that's counterproductive to me? Honestly. And with all that being said, I mean, I don't. I don't really have a lot of dogs in any fights down here, really, now. I mean, I watch from time to time, but it's just the same old fucking shit. Same old fucking shit, honestly. Moving on from it. At this point, it's after Thanksgiving, we're in the holiday season. Some changes are going to be made for the new year and approaching the new year. As well, Lori Taylor, two American flags. Yes, have faith, have faith in this great country of ours. Have faith that a direction is going to take course. Oh, and another thing I have to bring up, I should have put it in the title. Now, I'm going to discuss it now. All right, if anyone's familiar with the um. Part of the class of the fact that the movie, the, the, the monster that was driven that movie called Fragment, and it's spelled the same way that. If anybody's familiar, okay, with the concept of the. Oh, thank you, Paul. Very lightly. What What have you been smoking lately? Anything good? Close to it, a little bit more, but it's more of the. You listen how you have to like. Exactly. In. That's how I want to keep it. Because, <laughs> you know, you talk, even, even the people who talk about me, they can only do it so many times. 
until they wear themselves out doing it. Okay? They can only do it so much till they wear it. What's up, cool boy? They can only do it so much till they wear it out. And the only people who want to continue doing it are just bottom feed is to, to the to the max. If they're doing that right now. You know, because I proved all I needed to prove about Jasmine, about anybody else, um, that I came very close. And if someone lives very close, you just never know what could happen. Is really what I wanted to put out there. But hey, even Anderson had to find out right on that end. He's not even what I would call like a good person. You know, he, he's a boss. Um, but he still had to find it out at any rate. Even some of the people I dislike or I'm not such a big fan of, I like when they raise the issues. I like when they talk about the things that need to be said. And I'll listen to them if they're talking about them. But it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to become like, you know, buddy-buddy with them or whatever. But because I know what they're up to as well. And I've known for a while what they're up to. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm taking a flight, you know. I'm waiting for my plane. Evening, hope you think you'd be a drinker. How are you? So, everything being said. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to bring up. The concept of the alt right. The alt right, if anyone's heard that term, the alt right going around, right? Or it's gone around. Before they started looking more hipsterish, okay? Before more of them started looking more, you could say, trendy, hipsterish. I developed the idea of it, of what it would be like, what would be good if it happened, because it wasn't in existence. So I thought, hmm, okay, I have this idea that there is such thing as hipster white nationalists, or people who disguise their face, like maybe not necessarily in masks, but let's say like hipster type beardo things, like a cloth beardo that you put around your face. You ever hear of a beardo? They called them like a beardo. I literally was saying how if this thing came about where these type of people came in or whatever, then it would change the face of white nationalism as you know it. And I talked about this a long time ago. I used to make videos how we have five years or less to be in America as we know it. We have five years or less of it. And I was saying this probably over three, maybe three and a half years ago I said this, before I came to the community. And I was actually saying how, and people looked at me like I was crazy. Five years or less, that sounds like a David Bowie song. Five years or less sounds like a David Bowie song. Well, I'm not that wrong, really. I'm really not that wrong. And I kind of called the image of white nationalism that, um, that came into this country. I kind of called it before it happened, honestly. So it was my idea. Whether I lived into it or not, the fact is it's still my idea. I mean, I didn't coin the term all right, but I'll tell you who did. I think somebody in Germany did, or someone in one of those European countries, you could look it up, but he ended up being a Bernie Sanders supporter, and he coined the term all right, and the whole peppy thing, but the whole body of it. I thought about the body of it, though, like what would come to being 
with these hipster white nationalists. I talked all about that when I used to rant about what I think the future could look like or what would possibly be good. You know? And then the alt-right rose and then Trump got in. So, before this was even a discussion, I believe I brought it to the surface in discussion quite a bit back because I used to be somewhat of a figurehead on YouTube at least when discussing this this thing but some guy who coined the alt-right lives in Europe and it turns out he's a Bernie Sanders supporter which people wouldn't see coming I know I do my research and that's how I know this kind of stuff so in that regard, I have definitely done my homework. Uh, so, with all that being said, I just wanted to cover on a few things for a few minutes here before I vanish for a bit. So, with all that being said, and I'll uh, talk to y'all later, and thank you for coming in. Our DA got locked up for child porn. He did? Are you, is this a joke? He, he, it's him of all people. Someone that I don't even watch or haven't watched. It's, it's him of all people. He got locked up for CP. Wow. I don't know what to think of that. Yeah, I hope so too. I mean, I come out, the thing about me is when I have something to say, I come out with the bullhorns and I say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do, typically. I come, I'll come out with bullhorns if I feel the need to depending on what I feel I have to talk about. And it's, a, it, it's an issue when I'm thinking about it. I have to get it out here. And stuff like that. So with all that being said, it's like, take what you want to out of it. Um, Michaela Shrek, my, your P's and Q's. And you ain't doing shit. You just use that. I'm trying to be patient with you. Okay? Don't make me step it up. I'm trying to be patient with you. About it. Yeah, well, he's out of here. I, I don't. I don't even see what he's saying. Honestly, don't. Don't even feed him. Don't feed the trolls. Don't. I don't. I don't even see what he's saying now. But I can't go for that. I can't go for that. So. <laughs> so yeah, I think I, I think I covered. <laughs> Who's covering my whole? Yeah, well, well, kick them out. I'll, I'll give you a moderator. Kick, kick him out then. If he's still here, then just kick him out if you see him. I gave you a mod right there because no one else is doing it. High skunk ain't. And another thing, there used to be a community I went to. Right out of the West You know how IP2 is trending? Or it's got bigger. Here's another thing I'm going to say. No, Scott Gabe, I'm not, not going to do that. I don't trust you enough. Um, Joni Portwood, I'll give you a mod. How about that? I'll add a couple while I'm at it. I'll give you one too, Joni. Uh, I trust you. Uh, so, so, there's another thing. The IP2, the people in the IP2, you know how IP2 is this trending thing and how it's newer? It's like, it's like a bigger boy with some cringe live streamers or whatever. Like it's a bigger type of entity. It's a different entity, but it's still on that idea. Well, I'll tell you what. I came across it in 2011. 10, 11. 
We're talking a long time ago. You know where it was? You know where I came across this? The beerbarrel.net. It's a website with some of the biggest trolls outside of this community that I've ever run. In fact, it was probably the worst before I came to the point. The beerbarrel.net. It's a forum. There wasn't any video logs. But before I came to Boyd, that was considered the most cringe, troll-filled message board. But this community makes the beer barrel look a little better. I hate to tell you. This is a community where I even introduced myself saying hello. And I got downvoted in a similar fashion that Elvis Travels uh, got downvoted down here. They did to me, and I didn't do a thing. I just said hello. It's almost like I got set up to join them. Someone said, oh, join the community. I'm a moderator over there. And if he had motivations to set me up, he was sure good at not uh, revealing that. I had to come to him with the problems. Like, what the fuck is going on here? It's like these people are attacking me right out of the gate. And I didn't even do a fucking thing to anybody. So... That was like telling at that time. So, with all that being said, though, I'm going to go. I think I said pretty much everything today. And some people who missed some past just rewatch it or whatever. What are we going to do with Amanda Dodger? What's going on? Lavender Jones, what's happening? Take care. Yep. And I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, the 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 the